Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. This is the Saturday vloggy thing. This is where I tell you what's been going on with me, my life, and my crochet, which is a big part of my life. So uh, we'll just leap right into it here. Um, first thing, kind of an update on what I talked about a little bit last week. The work is still going on. Yes, there are still very long weeks, but that's okay. I'm actually recording on my lunch break on Saturday. So, yay. Uh, <laughs> uh, skin issues. Yep, the eczema is still there. Still dealing with the mess. <sighs> Maybe someday it'll clear up. Uh, anyhow, that's been fun. Um, but yeah, that's just, you know, it's a daily thing. It's just something you deal with and you just move right along. Now, what else is going on? Oh my God. I hope you saw some videos from earlier this week. I did have a really awesome happy mail. I'll link that video up here someplace if you missed it because I don't want you to miss it. It's all good. It is so all good. Oh, also in life, <clears throat> last night we went to a brand new, brand spanking new. They just built the building and it just opened up Dollar Tree. Yes, we have a new Dollar Tree. It's about five miles away from me, which is closer than the other ones. And uh, it's one of those Dollar Tree Plus locations that has, um, oh, and the prices did go up to a buck 25, but not everything is a buck 25, which is kind of weird. There are some things that are still a dollar. Most things are a buck 25. And they have an aisle of stuff that is $3 and $5 as well, but it's like better stuff, nicer stuff. So that's actually pretty cool. We took a quick walk through last night. I got some stuff. Not doing a haul video just yet. That will be later, probably Wednesday-ish, Thursday-ish. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I'm excited to go back as well because they got a lot of stuff and we were in a hurry. Um, oh, something very, very new coming up. If y'all been paying attention, you may know that I am going to attempt to grow things. Like peppers, actually. Peppers and herbs, okay? Thanks to Joe from uh, Garden State Gardener, I have got a seedling mat to warm the soil and stuff. And I've actually got a table coming that's going to sit. We decided to put it in the dining room um, up near where the sliding glass doors are because it will get some natural light there. And I've got a grow light coming. I like a little light to hook up and grow. So that's all coming. And I will try and share some of that as I do it. So we'll see if I can succeed. Um, I got my pepper seeds from jppepperseeds.com and that's Jimmy Pickles and I'll link his YouTube channel up here somewhere or down there. And um, he is actually sending me some powders from his seeds. He grows the peppers and he gets the seeds and sells the seeds. He doesn't sell the powders, um, but this, the, the powders will get you a taste of what the peppers are like. And he does a lot of really hot ones and I hope I don't get any super hot ones because I don't think I could take it, but I'll try. But uh, I've seen other people doing um, reviews of them and it looks like a lot of fun and he's sending me some to review and I'll be doing like one of those per video when I do those. Another tasty, woohoo! Yes, Oscar just walked in and walked right past. Didn't even want to be on camera. Well, so that's coming up anyway. Um, to the crochet. I know y'all been waiting on the crochet. Oh wait, first, hang on, just in case you missed it. You have a little bit of time left if you're watching this on Saturday to uh, find out what this is about. Yeah, there's a hidden giveaway in one of my vloggy thing videos. Hint, check back two weeks ago. You'll see it, you can enter, all right? That's a thing. Now to the crochet, woohoo! I have one, count it, one finished object, and I'm wearing it. Uh, this was <laughs> going to be um, another one of the Bush Tracker Beanie Crochet versions that Crystal Bagaday put out a tutorial for. And um, I started it that way. I love those hats. But then it just kind of, it was a little big, and so I just kept going. And I decided to make a slouchy out of it. So this is nice and slouchy, and I actually wore it yesterday. <laughs> wore it out. And this is a heat wave yarn. 
Oh, I think this one is called Pool Bag. I don't remember. This is called Ultraviolet, the variegated one. Um, I used most of them up and then I wound the rest of what I had left into balls. And that's something else that I've been working on. I have this mesh bag that I got from a Dollar Tree at some point. In it, I have started putting balls that are wound and tied with a clip because a lot of my scraps are just kind of droopy old skeins or just going uh, I'm done yeah so I'm trying to wind them up into nice neat little balls and put them in a bag that is something that I have been working on sometimes not very much something I'm getting ready to work on though pardon me there is this bag yes it is the unicorn club bag the reason I'm using this bag a it's purple I mean hello I love it uh, but B, it came from Lisa Ladybird Loves, which, who I will link, because she's going to be doing another cow. She said she wouldn't do another cow, and now she's doing a cow, and it's a mystery cow at that. All she told us was we needed some six super bulky yarn, about how much of it, and that we're, that's what we're going to be doing for five weeks. So I have like ten balls of this, uh, that uh, Shock Admire, Studebaker, whatever it is, Lova color 00082 whatever that means but it's got this cool purple and this sort of beige it's a chain spun yarn it's actually pretty soft even though it is acrylic and wool it's 30 percent wool three percent polyamide and 67 percent acrylic so i don't know what we're making she said it's not a wearable but she hasn't told us literally anything else ah, i just want to know i want to know and no, it's not the same on both sides because somebody keeps asking her that. Is this going to be the same on both sides? No. So apparently it is a one-sided affair. So putting that over there for right now. That starts, I think, a week from today. So, yay. And I have one in-progress item that I have actually worked on a little bit this week. The hubby blanket got no love this week at all. I can tell you that. I've just been really busy with other stuff. I'm going to show you how big my little corner to corner is getting now right this was the beginning of my corner to corner what yeah I'm getting towards the end of the second ball and I don't know how many balls of this I have I know that I have at least four I'm um, gonna check and see how many I have but I'm just gonna keep going and just make it an enormous blanket it's very lightweight I'm using a bigger hook for it I don't remember the, the, the mandala is a uh, three weight but it's like a hefty three. It's not like a tiny three, you know? And the hook that I'm using is a five millimeter. And I'm using these little school pouches, basically, to put a hook in and to put scissors in so I can take stuff with me and do it. But yeah, this is all that I have left of my second cake. Ooh, it's about gone. But I'm excited. And this is a TV project. This is one... Once you start corner to corner, it's pretty doggone easy. I have a stitch marker in it just to hold my stitches so I know where I am. Oh, I've, I've developed a knot because of me tossing this around. And that's my own doing. That wasn't the cake. So that's all right. Um, I did have a couple of knots in my cake of mandala. I was really surprised because I hadn't had that before. But this is the color unicorn, by the way. Yes, I know. Some of you hate pink, but get over it. Okay, the pink is nice. I like it. <laughs> Anyhow, I've got to wrap this up because it's almost time for me to get back to work again. This is the end of my 63 and a half hour week. Yes. Um, oh, I do have another interview Monday, though, within the company. I'm looking, trying to get an analyst position, so I'm trying again. Fingers crossed, everybody. Wish me luck. That would be awesome. Uh, the giveaway will be drawn tomorrow, like I said. Tomorrow's the 30th. So if you're watching this on Saturday the 29th, it will be tomorrow. If not, it's on the 30th, okay? I know, time is a weird thing. But uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to see who got it right or close or anything. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the answers. I just know that a bunch of people have been commenting on it. Speaking of comments, though, I know it takes me a while to get back to your comments, and I do apologize. I only get to check them once every several days sometimes, sometimes once a week-ish. But um, 
yeah, I do get to it. I do at least heart them. I, I reply back a lot of times and I appreciate you leaving the comments. It does make me happy when I get to see them come across. I just don't have a chance to get back to them because, you know, work is a thing. But please leave the comments. They make me so happy. Oh, and yes, this is my Blondie t-shirt. Um, got it at Torrid a long time ago, but not as long ago as it says. It's from a concert in 1977, which, of course, I didn't get to go to. I was only seven years old. But I have loved Blondie since I was a kid. Blondie rocks, and she's still rocking. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you all for coming by. I know this was kind of scattered everywhere today, but that's kind of how my brain is most of the time. Just scattered here, scattered there, scattered a little everywhere. And uh, we'll just keep on doing it. And I've got to get this hot mess of a yarn pile cleaned up. I really, really do. See y'all very, very soon. Bye now.